All right, look, man. Look. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, <laughs> we were gonna like sneak you in and say, yeah, but if she made a she said it. something. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here, guys. That ain't hip hop. That's how we got a, a fully staffed review. Here. <laughs> That's the entire uh, staff on this motherfucker. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, Cardi B, Invasion of Privacy with. It, it, look, if you don't know who she is by now, <laughs> then, then you don't fuck with that in hip hop. But well, we got Sophie on the channel too. Why, why would you do that to us? What? Yeah. Like, if you don't know who Cardi B is, you don't fuck with that in hip hop. I no, he said he was saying say? Sophie. He said Cardi. She said, I said if you don't know who she oh, is. Oh, she is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, yeah. yeah. I, I thought like, you meant Cardi no, B. No, she I'm said like, that's Cardi. A weird ass intro. Yeah, no. <laughs> But uh, Cardi B, man, let's talk let's about. Go, Ralph. Yeah, before we get into the album, man, let's talk about her 2017 blow up. Right, like we like, have to really. But I'm saying, I, 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 it's on the podcast. We talked about it on the podcast. Listen, is the mic still on podcast? What episode you was that? You know, you body change. Nobody knows the episode. Know that. <laughs> no, this just totally episode. just messed me up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. He hey. had to put me on the spot. <laughs> just go through them all. It's in the description. Go through them all. <laughs> 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 yeah, check it out. But go ahead. Cardi blew up last year off of Bodak Yellow. And the rest is history. She started sending records. She started doing this. She started doing that. Uh, she now has a. Uh, she's pregnant by Offset. You know. So and and I feel that the whole. Straight to that. Like she had a whole year before that. <laughs> I know she just announced it. Blue girl for real. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> But nah, man, she she she's been killing it, man. She I think she's probably arguably the hottest name in hip hop right now. I have my doubts of her being able to follow up the success of a Bodak Yellow. It's true. You know, I, I know there's a song on here. I didn't think that mm -hmm. I, that that was gonna be on an album, Barty A. Cardi, mm -hmm. that I fucked with. Uh, I thought it was just gonna be a single. Okay. Um, but man, I'm not gonna lie, man. She really surprised me on this. I, I like my my expectation was a pr was pretty low, cause I'm like, okay, she you know she got the beats and she you know she sound alright, but like can she put a whole project together? Right, mm -hmm. right, right, right. Bro, like she talked about a lot of stuff, man. She did. And I think I, I think <laughs> she did. I love she did. I love she did. She, she, <laughs> she talked about yeah, I love it. I love it. I'm right. telling you, preach. Yeah, she <laughs> you know. <laughs> The way it starts off, man, get up 10, you know, I definitely fuck with that, right? Like somebody trying to make it, trying to grind, you know, you get up, you, you get knocked down nine times, you get up the 10th time, I get that. It gave sure. me a, uh, like a Meek Mill mm -hmm. feel, the way she it did. It did, it did, yeah. because cause the intro, you know, it yeah. just kept building, it was mm -hmm. beautiful and lush, and then all of a sudden, you know, it, it, it went hard, so I definitely uh, fuck with that. Not lush. When that when that beat dropped, I just, I just couldn't help, I just burst out laughing. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because I'm like, she's really going for the Meek Mill? Is she right. going for the meat meal? Oh, oh shit, she went she for the meat meal. <laughs> <laughs> it worked for it though. It worked for it. It did work. And then, and then it went to Drip Drip. Oh my God. You that, like that song? I love that song. It's fine. I love that song. <laughs> that shit's hard, man. Migos did they thing That's on gonna it. That's going to be a hit. It is. Um, that shit bang. So, you know, if, if, if your system ain't that good, man, turn the bass down. I think the first song that truly surprised me was Big and Head. Ooh. Cause she Project took, Pass. Yes! Yeah, 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 yeah. She took, and you know what, man? That's that's a beat in a song that a lot of people have taken and a lot of people don't give, like they don't add nothing to it. I like their version. You know what I'm saying? I I, I felt, I felt, you know, Car Car Cardi was just letting loose on that, man. You know, when I, when I heard this song, obviously it, it you know, is a, is a remake and, and threw me back. Um, but when I heard it, I was like, I can almost kind of see where she could kind of fit into hip hop, maybe be on some gangsta boo shit. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe that could work out for her, cause you know, gangsta boo wasn't like the best lyricist, like. But she had her place. But she was yeah. gangsta boo, you know. <laughs> Boy, so, please, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I love that they kept yeah. that little ad lib in yeah, the back yeah. and everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think, man, for me, Cardi on, on this project, the thing, the thing that I took most away from was that she just really rapping. You know what I'm saying? Because when you listen to, to, to hip hop, dude, really, 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 I, I'm about to get okay. to it. <laughs> You're like, what, yeah. what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> what I mean by that is like, when you listen to hip hop artists, right, male artists, and be talking about suck my dick, I fuck this, I do that, I get money. She's doing the same thing, but from the female's perspective. Hey, come, 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 come get it, come slob on this thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> the trampoline. Yeah, the, the, trampoline. the trampolina. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I, and, and, and I felt that sometimes I feel that a lot of women, like they find themselves like in an awkward place of trying to not be too hard or oh being too soft 
or whatever. And I feel that Cardi is, is right, right in, the, right in the pocket mm -hmm. where you know, like for me, I'm not saying that she's no gangster type chick, but I won't question her street savvy. And she's really on this, you know, commercial hip hop. Yo, I'm blinging. I'm, I'm living life. I'm, I'm, I'm taking care of my people and all of that. And that's what pretty much every hip hop artist that we talk, that we listen to, that's what they talk about. But sometimes women, it just, it, it feels either forced or it's not comfortable. And I feel like Cardi's real comfortable talking about that. Yeah. Ooh, Wait, yeah. I have a question for you. What's up? Did you like? <laughs> did you like? I like it. I did. You know what? And I should I should have talked about that because obviously Go I'm ahead. Hispanic as well. Uh, I like the Jamaican song. No, it's not Jamaican. <laughs> Are you serious? I like it like that. We thought that was Jamaican. No, I thought that was Jamaican. That's Jamaican. No. No. Rapping in Spanish. Okay. That's what that was. Yes. <laughs> uh, no, man. I definitely love the rendition. The beat was hard. Um, and I like who, whoever if it was J Balvin or but Bad, but I don't know who was rapping in Spanish, but. That that was dope. That was mm -hmm. dope. I think I think it's all personally it's always dope going from English to Spanish because I know Spanish men, but I don't know how people be rhyming Spanish with English words. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, I felt like it was wild. a bit of a letdown because she didn't do it. Oh, that she's a rapping yeah. English, yeah. but yeah. she used was it on this song? She 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 used she Spanish it. words, but it's like ninety nine percent English and like. Right, one percent. Cause she did that for Bodak Yellow. She did a Spanish version to that. Oh, this, yeah, yeah, she did. Body. yeah. yeah. Okay. I was so nervous because she dropped um, one of her singles, um, "Be Careful," like a week before mm -hmm. the album came out, and I was like, "No, nah. this ain't it, girl. Like this, this ain't it. It didn't At do all? anything for." Then started off like, "I want to get married," and I was like, ah, "Pause. Like I just can't even listen to the rest of it because to me, it didn't feel like what she had released in the past, basically." Mm -hmm. Um, but once I listened through like to the whole album, it sounded a more cohesive and then B There was one song at the end that kind of scared me called through through your phone through or whatever mm -hmm. And when I heard the track again, it sounded like she was in that ambiguous area where it's like You know how they always try to get these female rappers to be in a space where you know Like on their album, they'll try to get them to do two or three songs that are like R&B inspired and like sing through it mm -hmm. and Nobody really gives a fuck to hear that if that's not their style right to me um, I thought that's how that song was gonna go But mm -hmm. you know somebody was doing the hook and she still kind of rap, you know yeah. hard through it So I was really happy that she didn't try to do no weird singing shit or no R&B what? On Be she, Careful? No. She sang on one of these fucking songs. No, her horrible nice. ass voice. No, she sang on some of these songs. Phone, I think she was singing she on She sang yeah. on, yeah. yes, thank you, B. I'm not yeah. crazy. Yeah, she, <laughs> did. she did some singing. She said yeah. she Well, singing. if that was her, she sounded good. The fuck? Wait, which one? On through Your Phone? If, no, she didn't. Because I was looking at that song and I was like, who's featured on this? Cause, exactly. It was her. Mm -hmm. Well, then it sounds good to me. Oh, well. I was nervous it was going to be like a whole album talking about Offset. Mm. Or like... I put the pussy on offset mm. for like 13 songs. Like, mm. I don't care to hear that. But she didn't do that. You know, she released Drip, I think a couple of days before. Mm. And um, she had some other songs with other features. And I think that, in my opinion, when I saw like the track list, she didn't have that, like so many artists on every single song. I don't know, she just kind of, you know, showed that she was flexible with where she could go as an artist, I think. So you so. think it was a good debut? Yeah, oh. I think so. Mm -hmm. Because I, I don't think anybody really believes in Cardi. Like, nobody really believed that she would be able... Like, everybody thought far. she was going to be a one-hit wonder type shit. And even the features that she did have, like, SZA, Chance... P like, I don't think yeah, anybody so expected made. those types of features mm -hmm. to be on there. We might have... I mean, I think... Who was on there? Y YG? Yeah, YG. Mm -hmm. yeah, YG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I like that song too, but... I don't know. I think that nobody really had high expectations for her. And she kind of proved them wrong, I think. I, I think mm -hmm. she executed really well mm -hmm. on this. Yeah. Although I, I did feel like it ended a little weird because that song was Wait, just, didn't sound season. like a closer. It didn't yeah, sound it like didn't. a closer. Yeah. It was just kind of like mm -hmm. the song would go on and then, you know, I have Spotify, so it would just shuffle to something else. And I'm like, oh shit, the album's over. Mm -hmm. Like it didn't feel like she had a proper closer, gotcha. but I'm really, really glad that she chose Get Up 10 as the, as the intro, because mm -hmm. if it was a shitty intro, I feel like a lot of, she would have lost a lot of people. Yeah. I mean, this is not really like for me, I was never like on the Cardi B train mm -hmm. like everybody else. I um, thought she was going to stay though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, think Kim, me. I think Kim was the main one. Like, <laughs> one I, haven't yeah. changed, I haven't changed my mind yet. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, but um, here yeah. we are. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, here I was, we are. Yeah, I was never like really on the Cardi B train. I mean, I do. I can definitely see like why like a lot of ladies, a lot of females love a lot of these tracks. Me personally, I like. I do the, the intro is okay, and I like the joint with YG. I think that's a cool 
Mm-hmm. Like I can hear myself in like in a strip club, listen to that shit, and that shit sound good. Yeah, mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah, yeah, she oh, bad. Yeah. So like some of these songs, I'm like, okay, I get it. Like I can see why like a lot of females would like this. It's like I would put her in that. It's not just women though. I have to say it. Well, at least women that I. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just women though. I didn't say shit. Oh no, that was me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Who else is it? I said I like it. Yeah, men like this shit. Rob likes it. What would you say? Said he I, I ain't even saying that. Rob like, like, been talking about he likes it. Hey man, don't be lying on me, man. Hey man, I was the one who wanted to review it. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna talk about Cardi B today. <laughs> People in the industry. <laughs> Ti applies. I think some dudes probably like this shit. I'll tell you what, with me, it's not so much of a. Uh, oh man, I like this. I'm gonna be bumping it, right? Oh my god, why do you always preface everything like that? I don't preface everything like that. What are you talking about? Yes, you, you do. It's no. not that I, I I like it. It's just that no, it's No, I like right, what I know? like. I'm a tourist. I like what I like. You know what I'm saying? Trash. So then but but with this, it. it's like, you know, you put it on, I'm not going to like, yo, cut that bullshit off. Like, it's not like that. It's like, I I get, I, I'm kind of like where B is. Yeah, like, I, I get I, why I get, people I get like why. it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's but just where I am. It's just not. It's just not for me. I'm, I can't. I'm, I'm not, not gonna, gonna be. It's not yeah, for not me. The back, content yeah. is not for me. Yeah. That's just all it is. It's just. It's I'm not just gonna not. go back to it. I'm yeah. Not, I'm not gonna go back to it. No. How? It's, totally, it's, it's not. Just, it's a little bit. Because it, I would put how? it. Because I would put it like in the. I hope I'm using a good example. But like a like a Trina. Like you know how Trina has like female. Yeah. Yeah. But female like. You know what I'm saying? Like I can rap a rhapsody or I can rap a Jean Grey verse. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But I can't rap. A it's treatment. too specific with yeah, this. It's, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. There you go. It's too specific. Yeah. Can't rap about your pussy. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna be reciting that. Why you can't rap that? I can't. No, I will never, but never. <laughs> I would I'm never not, recite not, that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? saying? So I get it. So I get why like I get why a lot of ladies love it. Like I'm like, okay, this is this shit is bumping. This shit, I can see why. But I've heard they, they were not feeling it. Ooh. Ooh. I haven't heard that. I haven't I mean, heard I've that. I've seen that there was some Cardi so, B fans that mm, I don't know. Yeah, I've seen, I ain't Cardi seen Cardi B fans that don't like the album. I've seen a lot of ladies loving this. I'm all in this. I feel y'all where y'all saying there's certain lines I wouldn't rap. I wouldn't either. You know what I'm saying? Just because it's 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 so female power centric, right? Like I just, I, I don't feel comfortable saying some of the shit she says, That's but that doesn't stop me from like, uh, rapping the Bodak yellow hook. You say rapping. I've already rap- said the Bodak yellow hook was hard. We had that conversation. I know. But I that's know. that's one. So, like no, I feel you. But 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 Cardi is cool get up ten too. drip. Like like she has music that I I know I'm definitely gonna be bumping in the web. A lot of people, I'm not gonna necessarily recite all the lyrics. But, I know a lot. Oh, that's of the people. one with Twenty One Savage on. Yeah. yeah. Did you like that song? Twenty One Savage. I don't know if I like this song. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I like it. A lot of people songs. didn't like that song because it was a little bit different. Which from one? Bodak yellow. Bardi or Cardi? I like. That one. But I like that song a lot, actually. Yeah. Yeah. You let her say sh- her shit by opposite, then you go right back in. You double dutch it. <laughs> <laughs> when, you write, when, when you recited Cardi lyrics, you got to double dutch if you a guy. I hear you. The bitch want to party with Cardi. Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Um, she had a lot to say. Mm-hmm. Cardi had a lot to say on she, this album. She talks about her teeth. She talked about a lot of things on this album. You know what she talked about? Too? What else did she talk about? So. <laughs> <laughs> no, she talks about. Um, remember, like that, that like a couple months ago, where everybody was calling her out mm-hmm. um, being for being problematic and having like transphobic slurs and stuff like that. She yeah. talked about that too. I forgot on what song it was, but she was like, at one point, people were trying to call me the hashtag. Yeah, yeah. The, the problematic hashtag. Mm-hmm. She, she talked about that, and I was surprised that they even brought that up. I mean, oh, you know. Like, Look at the, the title, Invasion of Privacy. I think she's just, everything that's been going on with Cardi B, she had to say something about it on this album. That was the one thing I picked up. I was like, okay, Cardi, get off your chest, girl. Can't get about that the shit hate. off your chest. Can't about the hate. Tell the people how you feel. <laughs> but I got to tell y'all, man, this album is the most formal leg album I have heard to date. They followed that shit with from Be Careful to Best Life to Ring. I thought that was Brandy singing actually. <gasps> For a while. Yeah, I did. I really oh, did. Ring? Kalani? I thought that was Brandy. I was like, what are they Oh my God, from? that is awful. How? It might be. I don't like Kalani. You say you don't like her? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I can't listen to that song. But anyway, mm-hmm. yeah, so Big and Head, so that's a throwback, so that's that's an easy hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you, follow, really? you follow the Meek Mill thing with the with the intro. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got a Migo song, that, that that's on here. If if you wanted to make a mainstream rap and there was a certain way to do it and you put all these pieces together, 
that's exactly what she did on the, on this on you this problem. problem. But you know what though, can like I, I can't I can't let you slide with that because Ooh. Ooh. oftentimes so no wait hold on oftentimes <laughs> oftentimes we give uh, artists praise for their features and how they sound and none I'm of not these, the feature. Well, no, I feel you. But 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 you but it, I, it sounds like to me from this chair right over here, it sounds like you <laughs> are giving her. Like Flat for having these these artists and having a formulaic sound, mm. like you know what I'm saying. Like like the thing is, is that she right and and and, and I'm with Sophie on this. I didn't anticipate her getting all of these huge names because Chance the Rapper is a huge name. The way you pose that, you made it seem like it's a negative to have. It is. Features. I disagree. It too. is because it we, is. we give artists props all the time for having dope features, and she had dope features, bro. <laughs> it's like they they just I mean do they not manufactured work manufactured and and because they are songs that I could hear them putting out without her and I think that's why they work like the variety of songs on here are are different because it seems like they're tailor made to fit a certain artist and that if you want to put together a mainstream <laughs> album from a from a artist that that's relatively new. This is how you would do it. You would just say, let's just go ahead and just Mike get disagree. So what you yeah, disagree. Why? I, just, I disagree up? big time. I know what he's talking about as mm -hmm. far as the formulaic part. I don't necessarily agree with you because I don't think they had to go this route. She didn't have to rap that well. Like, that's what I walked away being like, fucking shit, she can rap if she's actually writing the shit. Let's assume she's actually When you say writing. rap, you're talking about the writing part or That's what I'm saying. Actual... Let's assume she's writing all of this. Okay. Except the song where everyone knows she didn't write it. Let's assume she wrote the rest of it. Mm. If that's the case, then I agree with Sophie. She shut everybody up. Because I can't I can't shit on this. There's nothing wrong with this album. I don't think that this is your average mainstream rap album because she's on this, she's rapping and writing a beat. <coughs> writing a beat better than a lot of other rappers. And see, I think that's where my disc, that, that's where we Bruh. differ because- <laughs> No, 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 wait, 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 slow down, slow down. Wait, hold on, I'm, I'm bit to the writing part because I don't think she's writing this. Uh, but, and that, and that, that, but you get and I know, and I know you said, let's yeah. assume that she was. If she and I didn't think, write it, then everything I just said is off the table. Right, so when I'm listening to her, I'm listening to her in, in my mind that she didn't write any of this. I'm not gonna lie, when I put this shit on, I was driving out to Conyers and I was like, Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, hold the fuck on. She's flowing. And she's rapping. She didn't have to do that. She could have gave y'all some. Hook, no, she didn't. Really hook she heavy. She could have gave y'all some. Really hook, hook heavy. She hot, thank you. She could have gave y'all some. She could have gave y'all some mediocre bullshit bars throughout this whole project. And I feel like her fans would have been happy. Right. The reason they're extra happy is because they know that people like us can't say shit. Cause she's rapping. Mm -hmm. Come on, there's some bars on this shit that were actually <laughs> kind of hard. Like that shit about the fucking, I got shit on my waist that'll put you bitches in shape, call it an extra that's waist, what, yeah. a waist <laughs> trainer. I was like, God damn, that's a hard ass bar. Like she had some bars. Like I said, mm -hmm. I don't know if she wrote it. I don't really care either. Right. Because for artists like this, it doesn't make a difference to me personally. But if she wrote all of this, you gotta give her props. She put together a solid debut better than a lot of other rappers. I'm not gonna return to this, but if somebody came up to me right now and said, Cardi B's, like, well, depends on who it is. If it was, right. if, if it was FIFA, <laughs> I'm like, well, hold on. But if it was like your average younger person mm -hmm. said that Cardi B's new album is like my favorite shit of the year, but all right, I get it. Cause I do, this shit, I was bopping my head. I'm not gonna lie, there's a damn on here. <laughs> no, the only two songs I didn't really like um, be careful. That was the one where she was singing. Just. And that was the one oh, where she yeah. was singing. I didn't think she sounded good. I take back what I said earlier. The other song, she, that, who, if that was her, she sounded okay. Yeah. But on on be careful, I didn't think she sounded very good singing. Uh, and I didn't like that beat at all. It was trash. And I didn't like the way she wrote the beat at all. Trash. So that was the only song. So and, the and content then, was there. I don't remember the content to be honest. It was just, you know, her, her going. You know, and just, I want to get married. Like, just be and careful with my emotions, you know what I'm saying? I don't like, need like your offset. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. I feel you. I'm just saying. I, I, feel you. I, feel you. I, I don't need to hear that. Yeah. And She Bad, I did not like, and mainly because I could not stand that the hook. hook. 
Oh my god. And I like YG. I think YG is she dope. Bad. She but she bad. She bad. She bad. She bad. bad. Ass bad. Oh, bad. Oh, bad. Oh, bad. I didn't I didn't like it. I didn't like the hook. It was just... I mean it would go off in the strip club, but it other would. than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah. Even that, that's a strip club anthem. Yep. That yeah, I wasn't feeling that. The rest of this shit, I can't shit on this. I would not listen to this. Like B said, it's not made for me. Right, it don't not. make no sense for me to walk down the street. <laughs> but, but I cannot say that she did not put together a very good debut album. And I think you just hate it. I'm not hating. I think you hate a little bit. I think you hate a little bit. It's not like you hate a little bit. Look, 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 she's rapper, and this is, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but. She's rapping better than Yachty. She's rapping Ooh. better than Twenty One. She's rapping better. She's not than, rapping better than Twenty One. Yes, she is. Oh, yes, she is. Ooh. She's rapping better than who's the other guy? Go oh, the real nappy hair. Yeah, she's rapping better than him. And I'm not shitting on those guys. That's not my kind of music. But when I listen to this, I think she's, she's rapping, rapping better than all the littles. <laughs> yes. yes. No, 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 no. Yes. There, there was There's a reason song. why she's not Lil Cardi. She's <laughs> all of them. Look, I'll give. I'll give Cardi her props. Like the no, album. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's not gonna sound like you giving her no, props out after what, what we said. That, <laughs> like she, she had a lot of things to get off her chest, and she did it. And she's basically saying that this is the way that I did it. This is my story, and it worked for me. And if it wasn't for the way that I did it, I wouldn't be here now. And she, she said, she's like, y'all basically talking to me. Y'all motherfuckers thought I'd be around for a minute, but I'm still here. My mm -hmm. 15 minutes of fame right. is long as hell. Yeah, it's huh? 30. It's 30. <laughs> it's 30. <laughs> it's 30. Uh -huh. it's 30. Uh -huh. it's 30. Like she had, I don't know. she had Bro. to put out an album. Name like, somebody that put out a better. Right. Debut oh. album. Okay, and that's fine. But I'm saying, I, when is the last time we heard somebody that everybody shit on him immediately? Right. That everyone was just like, oh, that person's whack as fuck. And then they put out an album where even like hip hop heads really can't yeah, just go it out. Were we really saying she was whack? Like that's our word. Like, we was, we was heavy. Yeah. But I'm talking Y'all about like were. the masses. Like, yes, the we, masses of indie rap. Not, we're not saying indie, that she but was But like the whack. masses of like rap. Fans were like, what the fuck? Cardi B shit's whack. I, mean, I think no, a honestly, lot of people were on that single like that. I think we, uh, I, I know I was like, okay. Rap fans were not. Even me, right? Like, I liked Cardi just because she was fun and like you could dance to her shit, whatever. But I really didn't think that she, I mean, it's, I didn't doubt her necessarily. I just didn't know what to expect. But when she came out with this album, I was like, okay, she's not just talking about turning up and kind of like sprinkling in here and there how she made it. She's like, putting out cohesive songs talking about her come up, what she went through, how she mm -hmm. felt, the fact that she had to, you know, overcome these <laughs> obstacles and stuff like that. And it was different songs. There was there was different songs with different vibes and stuff like that. Yep. And she would pick a song, like for example, even like um, Through Your Phone, she spent the entire song talking about, you know, the emotions of wanting to, you know, like uh, go through somebody's phone and like do, you know, like the emotions that you feel. Hey, hold on. Which is something I can't relate and, and, and to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't. Either. No, I can't relate to that. I can't relate to that. Yeah. That's Don't look at me more, like that. That's probably more, like more that. common than. than no, but course, a lot of people relate to it. And she, and but she, she had stuck a line, with the theme. She did. And she had a line on her that I felt that was extremely powerful when she said mm -hmm. that I'm looking in the mirror, see, um, seeing if there's something wrong with me because of your inconsistencies. Mm -hmm. You know That is. For real, for real. For someone that y'all were really just laughing at. I don't say y'all, all of us. Rapper. Right. You know, we thought she was just gonna right. come in here one hit wonder, okay, you're 15 yeah. minutes, whatever. But like she she really like you said, kid, she got a lot off her chest and she did it well. And that's why I give her props for that. But you didn't give her props for that. Like, <laughs> you've been shitting on her this whole time. Right? 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 Everything is formulaic. It is. How is it formulaic? She it didn't is. have to rap well. I, at look, all. Here's all. Here's, here's, here's what she I was about to say. She could have 13 Bodak Yellows on her, dog. No, exactly. There you go. That's a good point. To address the 15 minutes thing, like, okay, it's 30 minutes. But to go back to what you were saying is that, <laughs> oh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Cardi was so, Damn, son. <laughs> Cardi was so was freaking it? popular. Like, she had to put out an album to take advantage of the momentum that it was behind her. It didn't have to be what? this good. You're saying That's that she point. put out an album to stay relevant? Yes. She put out an album. No, she needed to absolutely. No, no, she needed to cement yes. herself. Yeah, right. she needed right. to cement yeah. herself because here's the thing. I feel in hip hop, you can you can shoot to the top, 
But what keeps you there, or at least at those levels, Consistency. are projects. Exactly. Right. And she dropped the pro. Now her way, she's extended her way. And now, based on what you guys are saying, she put out something that's relatively decent. That will probably extend it's her better career. Than decent though, Ken. Mm -hmm. Career it's another fifteen decent. minutes. I'm not gonna say it's better. Okay, that's fine. But but but, but no, nah, I can't say it went from fifteen to thirty because. No. I have not heard a a one hit wonder person put out an album this good. I don't think ever. Stop making me the fan Cardi B, goddammit. <laughs> I got an indie rap fucking nerd cred to fucking do. <laughs> and you're ruining it right now. <laughs> Look, everybody's gonna unfollow me. We're gonna me, take right? this out of context and just put it up. <laughs> <laughs> All the indie rap nerds gonna unfollow me. <laughs> <laughs> money bag was made. Like it's a it's a mainstream radio yeah, friendly money album. Money, money, money bag was money bag was kind of tight. <laughs> <laughs> money bag, money bag, uh, money bag, money bag, money bag. Uh. Bitch, I'm looking like a money bag. Wait, the same thing as Gucci Gang? No. Nah, it's not the same. Gucci yes, Gang, Gucci is. Gang, Gucci Gang. Yes, it is. That's all she she's Wait. taking other people's shit and put them in. No. Look at Mike. Mike, hold on. I'm that mean right now. Right. Mike was like. Wait a minute. Every mainstream Carry artist one. does that shit though. No, it's not the same thing. I it's not the same. It's not. It's not. I think it is. Anyway. It's not. <laughs> not that it even matters, because it's different enough. Right. Give the girl I her did. props. No, you didn't. Stop, stop like half ass like stop saying she's she's pretty for a fat girl. That's what you're doing. <laughs> Say that. Yeah, that you that's what it sounds like. Uh I'm out to go drip, big ahead, go that yellow, cause you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Money bag and Bardier card. Get up ten, big and head, money bag, and she's bad. I don't know that I really have any favorite songs. I mean, that you thought were good. Like, what were the good songs to you? You said. I mean, I thought the whole thing was good, with the exception of two songs. I thought it was fine. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna return to this, but I mean, yeah, get up ten was cool because that was the one that slapped me in the face the most. I was like, oh, she's I'm actually she's rapping mm -hmm. and well. Drip was cool. You know, drip was cool. Let, can let, I? Can 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 I? Uh, is this a math equation for you, bro? Oh, let me get all of these in the parentheses. It's a formula. It's a formula. Best life. Uh, maybe pick a head only because it reminds me of. Come on, since nobody else would say it, I like it. It's one of my favorites. Um, rude. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Party or Cardi. Um, I also enjoy Money Bag. Mm -hmm. I'll do get up. I'm big enough. Okay. Man, Cardi, man, if you watch, man, don't let this old ass motherfucker over here hate all your parade. Figure out what y'all doing. So don't, don't, don't. Who's y'all? Y'all grading Cardi B on the curve. No. Uh, <laughs> no not either. I figured that I'm shit good. out. Go nah, ahead, Ralph. Cardi, man, don't don't let motherfuckers that be drinking haterade in their coffee man, talk shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> not haterade in their coffee. But, um, look, I, I, look, I, I didn't anticipate this. Uh, I know 2017 was crazy. Uh, you definitely turn your 15 minutes into a very long time. Yeah, uh, you know, it's, I think it's cool that you like beat all the odds and, and kind of, you know, started from social media and doing your mixtapes, Love and Hip Hop, and then you like really being like almost the only success out of the Love and Hip Hop series, right? Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. For her to go against all the odds and beat that, man, like salute to you. Like I said before, even though this is not mainly for me, but I mean, like Mike, I'm with Mike. You can't really like just dog it out and shit on it. I mean, you was you was rapping. Like I, when I heard the get up, I'm like, okay, shit. Heard the, some other joints now. I was like, okay, damn. Like she was rapping, solid debut. I think you you if this was for your if this is an anthem album for your women, you definitely made that out. So because you got hits on hits, especially for the summer, for the whole entire summer for the ladies. So I can good job with that shit. And Cardi B, do your thing, girl, man. Um, you know. Salute, like V said, you, you 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 said it on the album. Like nobody thought you would get this far, and that's a testament to to you, man. Like your path and everything you went on to get to the point where you put out this album, to where you have, you know, people like, all right, Cardi B, all right, all right, Cardi B. You know that that says a lot. Just some of the things that you're saying on here, um, and the way that you went about it. I think there are a lot of people that follow you or that are fans of you can. You know, maybe pull inspiration from that and and stick to who they are and, and their truth. So, um, so yeah, I, yeah, 
Yeah, I'm I'm old too, but I don't act old like him. <laughs> I, I, I can be honest, you shocked the shit out of me. It's not for me at all. It's definitely something that is a bit more tailored for uh, for women. And I think that's cool, you know? I mean, you're giving women another perspective and in my opinion, you did it in a tasteful way and I think that that's cool. You know, there are a couple lines on here that I might take a little offense to, you know? Don't give these niggas none if they can't make you richer and they can't make you cold. <laughs> I ain't got no money, can we get one out of two? <laughs> stop, stop giving these women two high hopes, all right? <laughs> give us a break. I like the album. Um, it was unexpected. You kind of took a, some different turns in, you know, different songs that you decided to put out. Um, some of them were good, some of them, like two. There were two that I didn't like, but other than that, it was cool with me. And I'm looking forward to, you know, your success and all that. Also, I'm a little bit interested to see how she does this tour uh, post pregnancy. Oh, okay. Or how long that's gonna last? Because if that's the case, if she just does it something like next year, it's like how long are these songs gonna last? Type thing. I don't know mm -hmm. what else she's gonna come out with, but either way, good job.